Hi, I'm Liz Stringer from Melbourne, Australia, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Liz Stringer. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm pretty hot, but I'm good. It's a yeah. boiling day out here in Toronto. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm. Um, I'm shocked. I didn't expect it. No, I kind of did, but uh, yeah, it's hot. Well, it's an exciting time for you because just a few days back you dropped your new record, All the Bridges. So mm -hmm. tell me, what's been the coolest thing to happen since unleashing this album? It feels really good with a lot of uh, a lot of setup goes into it, and you know I'm really excited that people can um, can hear it now. It's kind of out in the world, so yeah, it just feels generally good. Yeah, um, the album was recorded over eight days in Portland. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to record in Portland out of all spots? Uh, I have mutual friends that have recorded there and. It was actually their suggestion and uh, yeah, I thought about it and um, thought it was a, actually a really good move for me, just the, where I was at at the time. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Let's kind of take us into the studio and tell me a little bit more about the more memorable moments that you had while putting this whole thing together. Sure. Well, uh, I didn't know the, the guys. Uh, I played with um, some local musicians there, um, Ben Nugent and Luke Oudsty, uh drums and bass respectively, who were really amazing and Adam Selza whose studio it is we we hadn't met we'd skyped once and like emailed a lot so that was uh pretty nerve-wracking meeting them but I <laughs> was instantly put at ease and instantly really liked so them. nice meeting people in person after all the oh my god technology stuff yeah there's a big there's a build-up you know and also like we'd never jammed before so I didn't know whether that was going to work um because you can you can have the best players in one room but it doesn't mean that the chemistry will be there and but it was, and um, as soon as we started playing, like the first, the intro to the first song, I was really stoked and uh, at ease. So, yeah, and it was great. Like uh, the the boys and I tracked for two days, and then Adam and I worked pretty much one on one for the rest of the six, and uh, had some other guys come in and play some Hammond and pedal steel. And yeah, it was really easy. It was a great experience. Uh, a, a, yeah, a, in from my track record, pretty easy. I was in a pretty good mood the whole time, which doesn't always happen. <laughs> So yeah, it was good. Let's tell me a little bit about the house on the front cover. Was that like a childhood home, a neighbor's house? What was that about? That's, uh, that house is, I guess I was thinking, you know, when I thought of the recording, and Portland has a certain kind of architecture, you know, not totally dissimilar to Toronto, I have to say, like that sort of wooden houses with the porch and the, you know, the kind of, yeah. Um, so I just, and I was talking to a mate, my housemate actually, uh, who wasn't my housemate at the time, just to be factual, but, um, <laughs> I was talking to her about the fact that that's what I saw because she was asking me what artwork I wanted and I didn't know and I was like I see bridges and I see houses and I, I don't know that's it that's all I've got and she has a good friend Coco Meacham uh, who just happens to, to do amazing artwork around structures and as well as a lot of other stuff but she had all the like a lot of um, yeah architecture work and I saw her stuff and contacted her and uh, got her to, to do it and she nailed it, it's great. So I mean obviously the bridge is, uh, is um, a photo, but the house, it was her design and her colour and, and based on a few photos that I sent her. It really her. pops. Yeah, it's amazing. And she, it's funny because she sent it to me and said, she's like, oh yeah, sorry about the pink and the green, like it's totally not you, I know that. Because um, <laughs> all my albums have been quite dark. and uh, But I loved it, immediately I loved it. And, it, and it, for me it suited the sound of the record and the feel of it and um, so yeah. I was really happy. Just speaking to the sound of the record, it's very soulful and I definitely get those 70s and 80s nods that you put in there. Mm -hmm. So who are you listening to while putting the whole record together? Were you listening to other artists or did you kind of zone yourself away from that? I don't know. It's really weird. Like I think uh, I listen to a lot of different stuff. Um, and I guess that's just what was kind of ruminating in my in my sub subconscious or something at the time. Like I, you know, I grew up in the 80s and and I love that kind. I love Tom Petty, and I love the Divinals, and I love uh, you know that kind of like '80s pop rock that's kind of earnest and like anthemic, and uh, but also really cool and um, has great sounds. And so I guess that's that's just how it came out. You know, like mm -hmm. I think there are the songs. There's a there's a wide range of styles, like like you mentioned. But um, Adam and I were on the same page about how we wanted it to sound, and um, the sounds that he naturally went with. Uh, and I guess that's just how he, he likes to record, just really suited 
my original vision. So it was kind of a fluke, but um, but I'm really yeah I'm I'm really happy with how it sounds. Awesome. And then yeah. you've been in Canada. You're going to be here for two months. Yes. Yeah. So how are you yeah. enjoying our lovely country? Oh, it's great. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've just been in the in the Maritimes for almost three weeks. Uh, I have friends on PEI, and um, uh, the East Pointers, great band from over there, and we toured in Australia together. So I um, was just over there doing a bunch of shows kind of and festivals with them and uh, hanging out and went to Nova Scotia and ate lobster. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's beautiful there. I hadn't been that far east, you know, and this is only my second time in Canada. So, And I love Toronto. I really love it here. And uh, So I'm having a good time. And you're from Melbourne. Yes. So what would the perfect day off in Melbourne be like? If our fans were to kind of hang out with you for a day, where would you take them? What would you want them to see? Um... Melbourne has uh, um, Melbourne has really good coffee. <laughs> Renowned, I get I I just get um made fun of all the time for being a coffee snob by my Canadian friends, but I am. I used to make <laughs> coffee, and I'm a massive snob, and most Melbourne people are. But uh, so yeah, I'll go for a really good coffee, and then eat some great, um, probably Vietnamese food, like around my hood. There's great uh, great Asian food, and then go to the football in the afternoon, and then go to the go to a gig at night because it's a big um big music city and um. There's always so many things going on and all of my friends are musicians, so I just probably go to a mate's gig and hang out at the pub, probably. To wrap things up today, is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who are going to be viewing our interview? Um, not really, except that uh, I guess I'm really stoked to be here uh, in Canada and, and I hope you enjoy the album and, and hopefully come to a show if there's one near you and I'll be back. I've already got plans for kind of earlier next year coming back and uh, I'll be spending more time here now I've just signed with Roaring Girl Records which is great for me and um, they're a really great base here for me so yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to hanging out in Canada <laughs> a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> just congrats on the album release, congrats on the new signing and thank you so much for thank chatting you, with Alicia. us today. Nice to, I'm so awkward with this sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be, it was a lot of fun and remember to everybody viewing you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all of interviews, features, videos and so much more with your favourite artists. We'll see you next time.